Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rob Schwartz from ACA Test Prep and Brain Buffet. And uh, if you design something that you want to print, right, you know that you're going to print it at a professional printer, the best way to get working is to find a professional printer first, right? Uh, I've been using Got Print lately. I'm happy with them, but there's lots of people out there doing this kind of thing. Um, but I want to show you how to use a template from a printer to create a document. So you can see here when I go to the templates page, all of these have downloadable templates. This, by the way, teachers, is a great way to start projects because the kids can design to the actual print specifications for a company. So here's how I like to do it. I'm going to make some postcards. So I can click there and you can see you get all these different sizes. There's some really fun ones in here. Um, and I think that I'm going to start with this six by six rounded corners. That sounds fun. Um, and it will also show us sort of one of the unique things about rounded corners. Square is pretty easy to figure out the difference. So I'm going to just click to download this JPEG file, download it to my desktop, and I'll unzip it off screen here. And now all I'm going to do is roll right into Photoshop. What I like to do here is just go to open. And then on my desktop, I will choose that uh, expanded document. that I unzipped once I downloaded it. So it's already set up and I can confirm that everything is set up right. Um, if you download from the printer though, you can be pretty positive that it's set up properly. But I'm gonna just go here to canvas size and I can see that it's 6.1 inches. So this particular company needs 0.1 inches of bleed. It's getting a lot tighter than it used to be. Back when I started with all this stuff, it was a quarter inch of bleed. And in their document, you can see that it's already set up. So what my goal here, though, is to show you how to easily design to this sort of template. So these are really tight tolerances. I'm going to just zoom in super quick. You can see I already have my rulers out. And all I want to do is I want to just drag so that I've got a line right on top of these two guides that they have out. And one is going to be for kind of like a safe zone, like you similar to how you have for video. If you get past the blue, it's possible that it can get cut off. If you're past the red, it will almost definitely get cut off. But you'll notice that there's space beyond the red. This is going to be the edge of our final image, this red line here. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that we design all the way past the edge because, you know, it's running through these printers so fast. Sometimes the paper goes just a tiny little bit crooked and you want to not have a little white edge where if you designed exactly to this red edge and they cut on this line, if the paper got in there a little bit crooked, you might see a little sliver of white from the, you know, unprinted paper around the edge. So I'm just dragging really quick guides onto these lines. And once I'm done, then I can make a new layer and hide my original background. And it's kind of nice to actually have the template as the background. Oh, and by the way, in CC 2017, for some reason, the age old, everybody loves it trick of double clicking on the hand tool does not make it fit to screen, which is just craziness. So I'm going to click here on fit screen. And uh, maybe there is a way to maybe that's just something that changed and you have to change a setting somewhere. But uh, that's been that way forever, and every designer I know uses that 100 million times a day. So what I'm going to do is just on this layer, I'll fill it with white so I can kind of begin working. But there you can see is, um, you know, the area I just want to basically have all of the content of my flyer inside this zone. Where I see this second outside blue line here is where it's actually going to be cut. But if I put an image in that I want to be a background that goes all the way edge to edge, I need to make sure that it goes all the way to the very edge of my document beyond this blue line to make sure that I get a good cut and no lame looking white edges around my document. So that's it, how to design and set up a document when you get a template from the printer.